Hey Geminis, welcome to your Racy Card reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my loyal subscribers, I know I've been away for a little bit. Um, thank you for all the emails, asking if I'm okay. Um, yes, I'm fine, thank you. Um, I'll leave information on what decks of cards I'll be using in the description box along with how to contact me for personal reading. So go ahead and check that out there. Let's see what we have for Geminis. Okay, the Page of Pentacles with the Devil. If you're dealing with a younger Capricorn, this message is going to be definitely for you or a younger Capricorn maybe coming towards you, just starting something new, getting to know each other here. Um, this could be somebody who was led away by temptation and then blocked you even. Um, but the page is about learning something new here. So whatever this devil energy was, you've learned something new from it. Let's see where we're going with this Gemini. Two of Wands. <clears throat> You seem to be at a crossroads now. So if somebody blocked you, um, I feel like they're going to reach out to you and then you have a decision to make. Somebody's going to be flirting, trying to convince you here. Look how he's trying to pour the drinks down her and flirting with her. So somebody is tempted by you, desires you, longing for you. So somebody will be, pages are about messages. So somebody will be, you know, sending a message here, maybe very short, maybe very brief. Um, but in that message, they're going to let you know that they like you. There's some flirting going on. Four of Cups. So you may be rejecting them. Okay. Um, you may feel like you're going to reject this person or you're not interested in this person. Or this could be that somebody rejected you, of course, um, in general readings, it goes either way. Um, but this could be an offer that you don't see coming. Now, there could be many reasons why you don't see this coming. Maybe um, you haven't spoken to this person for very long. Maybe you're single and you've been single quite a long time and you don't know, you feel like, oh, well, I don't know who's interested in me. Um, things like that. Uh, this is an offer you don't see coming or that you feel rejected. This is discontentment with um, maybe your options at the moment for love. Um, but there is a time coming here where it's going to be up to you. So clearly decide what it is you want. Um, the Queen of Cups here. Yeah, this is a love offer coming. Again, could indicate a water sign. Um, we have fire. All the signs will generally come out. So it's just that people ask me here. So... Yeah, this is like a real love connection that you feel with this person, whether you know them already or you haven't met them yet. It's going to feel really strong, a really deep, nurturing love here. Let's see. So you definitely are going to be tempted to accept this offer. I think the people who would be rejecting this offer um, are already maybe involved with somebody, somebody else. And by that, I mean... Maybe you're single, but your heart isn't. Um, so that's the only reason why you would reject a new offer. Or, well, there's many reasons, but you get what I mean here. Seven of Wands. Okay, so this person is going to try very hard. They're going to insist and um, try and overcome the challenges and keep flirting with you and stand their ground that they like you here. That, okay, you know. I feel like so if you reject them once, they're going to come back again. It could be uh, you doing this to somebody, right? So if they rejected you once, you could still want them. Uh, the death card here. So there is a transformation that's going to happen in your relationship status, if you like. Um, I feel like there's probably been an awakening in your life, but... Here we can see these two people in the back here. Um, it may have been that this ending was brought around or you stopped talking to this person um, because of a desire 
that they had, temptation that they had, and they went with somebody else here, which brought this relationship to an end. And you blocked them or they blocked you, and this is why you don't see this coming. You, you might feel like, well, they haven't got the audacity to reach out to me when they've done this to me, or I did it to them maybe even, right? Um, but with the Queen of Cups here, if that's the case, I feel like you've been taking the time to learn to love yourself and transformed yourself here. Lots of changes that have happened within you. So this might be why you stand your ground and reject them. Will be different for everybody. It is a general reading. The Justice card here. So... Really, this person would need to step up their game, step up what they're offering. They need to be more fair to you, especially if you've known them before. Um, it might be that they treat you unfairly and you now need them to do better, if you like. Um, if this is a new person coming in, I feel like this person is on the same vibration as you. So be aware and be accountable for your vibration, right? If you're feeling a little bit down or maybe you're not healed yet, then I would suggest that maybe the person you're calling towards you might not be healed either from situations and has traumas themselves. We all are human after all, right? Um, so I definitely feel like you're calling somebody in on the same vibration as you. So yeah, just make sure you're honest with each other, be very clear and fair with each other, right? Because we reap what we sow. If we're going to mistreat people and hurt people because we're hurting or somebody else hurt us, it's eventually going to come back around. Eight of Swords here. So, yeah, I feel like, look, this devil isn't too far away from your mind. Okay, we see the devil card up here. And uh, Don't get stuck, though, because the Eight of Swords, you can sort of feel stuck or attached. The Devil card is actually a strong connection between soulmates, a marriage card as well. It's two people usually chained together, but one has been led away by temptation. So if you, for example, wanted to start a relationship up again with this person um, and they wanted to start it up with you, I feel like you would have to be very clear about your your wants and needs that because this would always be in your mind right if you aren't healed from this or you aren't over it it would still stay in your mind your mind would keep dragging you back there so you would if you got into a relationship um and you don't talk about it, you just try to pick up where you left off if you had a disagreement about something your mind would go back to what they did to you before so them sort of things need healing before getting into even new relationships, really. You know, you don't want to bleed on somebody who didn't even cut you here. So it's saying, you know, things will play out for you um, by taking care of you, nurturing yourself, loving yourself here, taking things slowly, learning about the new you that you've transformed into and become, your new wants and desires and goals in life and does this person still meet you know your needs and desires you know is it going to be worth all this sort of mental torture here because it, it seems like somebody's thinking about you a lot and is very determined to be with you here and that's okay like I said you're at a crossroads here it's, it's up to you to decide we have free will it could have been you that did this to somebody and you want a second chance from them. But remember that, you know, if we don't clear this up, it is still in their mind here. So they're thinking about you a lot or what happened a lot. King of Swords. So, yeah, fairness, clarity. You know, this is what you're needing now. This is what you need to to talk about things, to clear the air, clear these eight swords out of your mind, your questions. So, you know, some of it might have happened and you have questions for this person. Or if you're meeting somebody new, you know, question them. Um, get to know them. <clears throat> I guess question them sounds wrong, right? But get to know them. Get to know their wants and goals and desires, their future goals here, what they plan to do. So, you know, people who are on the same path, I've got more 
chance of, you know, staying together, going in the right direction together. If you get into a relationship, fall in love and then realize you're going in opposite directions, um, it's very difficult, isn't it? <clears throat> so somebody is coming in quickly towards you here. Let me get you guys an Oracle card. Could be a Libra, very strong Libra indication with the King of Swords and the Justice card there. But we have Scorpio, like I said, Capricorn, Cancer, you know, all the signs generally come out here. <clears throat> a time for spirit. So I feel like meditate, find out what you want, you know, heal your soul and take care of you so that you know what you want. Okay. Good luck, guys.